These poems are dedicated to all those whose lives have been spent in bringing peace to this planet. Wherever you are, I bow my head. May peace be on this earth. We are all united with the thread of love. May each one of us realize the garland of life. Flow with the river of life. Don't try to swim upstream. You will waste a lot of energy that way. You will get frustrated and tired. Build yourself a raft. Make sure that you also build a rudder. This will allow you to control where you want your raft to go. If you simply build a raft without a rudder, you will have no control. The raft will go where the currents go. Flow with this life. Yet with your inner rudder, guide your raft to capture your dreams. In order to accomplish your dreams, it takes your raft and you use it, the rudder, to get there. How to manifest your dreams. Humanity prays to God to answer our dreams. Before you even pray, God knows your dream. Many people pray, yet they never take any action. Many people pray and take action immediately. The time may be off and they get frustrated. How do we manifest our dreams? Maybe you need to pray and be in a state of absolute peace. By being peaceful, our intuition will be in sync with our true nature. It will guide us to put our foot on the gas and put our foot on the brakes. All dreams take time. Some may be days, or some may take years. I have found out that dreams do come true. Many times, what you dream for, God gives you something you never thought about. What face did you have before you were born? You were the universe. Now isn't that incredible? We come into this world and over time we forget our true nature. Over time our inner mirror gets dusty. There is a point in time we even forget we had a great mirror. All the great masters have said the kingdom of heaven is within. When you first look within, it takes time to see a glimpse of light. You must polish the mirror daily. It takes patience and effort to clean the mirror. Over time, that light becomes a part of you. You begin to radiate peace. No words are needed for you to share with your co-workers. You don't need to convince anybody. The mirror inside becomes alive. You simply shine like the sun in the sky. You and I are one. Yet we think that can't be so. For eons, man has fought with one another because of our differences. My religion is better than yours. I'm going to heaven while you're going to hell. It's either my way or the highway. The great masters taught about the oneness of life. They even showed us the way. Peace on earth will happen when we all discover our oneness. It's time to get off the fence. 
You can't be wishy-washy anymore. You have to take one side or the other. <coughs> side one is the old energy of this world. Anger, war, frustration, conquer, greed, and power. Man has lived in these energies for thousands of years. Side two is the new energies. Kindness, compassion, love, tolerance, and patience. Which do you choose? It should be a no-brainer. You want peace on earth or the harmony? By the way, God won't save us from destruction. Man has to save him, save himself. Day by day, the world is a little more kinder. There are millions just like you and me. They take the Dalai Lama to heart. Kindness is my religion. Many of them aren't Buddhists. It doesn't matter. Kindness <coughs> is our true nature. How the world will change when we totally embrace kindness. Kindness is a wild card. In the face of confrontation, kindness will diffuse the bomb. The other person will be blown away. This person has gotten rid of the charge in such a beautiful way. Kindness is the future for humanity. Many people think that kindness is weakness. It's just the opposite. It's easy to flare up. But try to be kind in all situations. Now, that is strength. Ponder my words, <clears throat> you have a part to fulfill, practice kindness. When I was young, my grandmother used to say the following, you have guides that help you in your life. I liked that. I imagined they were indiv indivisible yet present in my life. Do you know it is true? We are not alone. We have had guides, which I call family, our entire life. We feel alone, but they are there. How would you like to know them? They are always there. They are a part of you. You have free choice. Do you want to know? This choice is up to you. They will never go away. It's up to you to open the door. You know where the door is. Ponder over these words. I just can't believe it. <clears throat> what you are saying comes out of a storybook. Indeed, that is true. For thousands of years, man has written stories about this incredible journey. These stories are about their journey to find God within. It's not hocus pocus. You are the universe. You just don't know it. The truth lies inside of you. These poems are meant to wake you up from your slumber. We are not trying to convince you. We are telling our story. It may seem far-fetched, but science and religion is talking about the same thing. Ponder these words. Just think the universe exists inside of you. These poems are healthy reminders. You may say, I write these for myself. I'm more than willing to share them. It's like every poem has a different meaning and purpose. 
They ask many different questions. They will stretch the mind. It's so beautiful to sit still and listen. From the well within, words arise. You will never know what is going to come up. The well only contains the hope for mankind. The words make you think. The words make you wonder. The words contain salt, which help you become thirsty. These are healthy reminders. These words don't judge or condemn you. You have free choice. The words, these words are to help you discover your true nature. Did you know that balance is the key to life? A person who's fanatical can't see the forest from the trees. Even if you are a fanatic for God, you can't think properly. Look at all the religious wars. My religion is better than yours. God is only on my side only. God does not take sides. Man creates wars. God doesn't. He has never started a war. By being balanced in all areas of your life, you develop a healthy relationship with God. You become mature in all levels of your life. You find your true nature. Your true nature is balanced. Look at the great masters. They were totally balanced. They said we could also be balanced. They showed the way. Ponder these words. They have an inner meaning. If I showed you a map before Christopher Columbus, it didn't have the Americas on it. A map is only good for its present time. The more we know about the world around us, the map changes. For thousands of years, we carried an old map. Imagine the Americas aren't on it. How can we sail home when our map doesn't have our destination on it? Man is mapping out the universe. He has named billions of stars. Yet, we haven't developed a new map of self-discovery. There is a map within. It is a map to God. Day by day, you can sail your boat back home. The winds of love are supporting your sails. This is an incredible journey. You are sailing home. Did you know there is a field of life that ripples everywhere? It ripples faster than you can read these words. It is felt instantaneously all across the universe. How about that? <laughs> we haven't even developed anything near the speed of light, yet the field transfers information instantly. Do you see how your actions affect the universe? Did you ever ponder that over? Your anger ripples across the universe. Is it worth it? Now is the time to change. Be kind. Your kindness will ripple everywhere. Your light will shine everywhere. You can be a true beacon. <coughs> you have no idea how grand you are. The universe is rooting you on. You have a grand part in this play. You are the main actor. Ponder these words.
how do I meditate? There are so many different versions out there. Which one do I choose? Will I pick up the right one? Let's start with the foundation. You are breathing, yes? What is the power behind your breath? I don't know. Focus on your breath in each and every moment. When you wander, bring your attention back to your breath. Do this for the rest of your life. This is one way to go inside. Remember, the kingdom of heaven lies within you. This is the way to open the door inside of your heart. If I could recommend one thing, what would it be? Discover who you truly are. You are the universe and just don't know it. How about that? You have forgotten your true nature. What is keeping you alive? Before you were born, you were one with the universe. When you die, you will return to the universe. We have forgotten who we truly are. If I could recommend one thing, it would be this wish. Where is man's biggest obstacle? His ego. It is swelled with pride. Man is puffed up like a peacock. He thinks that's healthy. He talks nonsense along the way. Most wars have started because of man's ego. I'm going to teach you a lesson you will never forget. Where has man's ego taken us? into the grave. Now I'm not saying all ego is bad. We need ego to be alive. Kindness is a way to quit our ego and to check. Kindness will not boast and puff up like a peacock. Kindness makes the universe go around. Be kind and solve this riddle. The mind is a powerful thing. Day by day, we create our own reality through the mind. We can create heaven or hell. It's our choice. God did not create hell. It only exists as a state of mind. You are powerful. Watch your words moment by moment. You have a genie and it's your mind. Whatever you say, it will manifest. If you are angry with life, I can almost guarantee you that you're, you will be angry in the future. If you change your way of thinking, your anger will dissolve in time. You can master yourself. This is the reason why you are alive.
Did you know that help is all around? You have been hardwired to know God. 97% of your DNA comes from God. The entire universe is rooting you up. The planet Earth knows who you are. You have a lot of knowledge to learn from Gaia. You have the guides within. You have a part of you that is one with God and the universe. There's so much internal and external help. You are never alone. God is your coach. What better coach is there? Help is all around you. Open up your heart. Help is there. You can solve this puzzle. What is the greatest gift of all? Is it a million dollars? How about a brand new car? How about a mansion? Or a trip around the world? These are great gifts to have. Yet I feel the greatest gift of all is to discover your true nature. Who are you? This is the greatest gift you can have. Ponder this in your mind. You can solve this puzzle. It takes time for a seed to grow. Imagine the earth was created a long time ago. Way before we came along, the seeds of humanity were planted in the ground. A farmer is wise enough and patient enough to grow his crops. He knows that there is a great cycle. When you plant the seeds in your heart, be patient. Everything takes time. Day by day, take out the weeds that come into your crop. Don't let the weeds get too big. Water with love daily. Be kind. Develop patience and tolerance. Have compassion for others. Someday the world will rejoice in the fruit of your efforts. Never put off tomorrow what you can do today. Tomorrow may never come. Someday it won't. The day we die. We have a tendency to put things off. We cram the night before a huge exam. We put off paying our bills. Tomorrow I can play with my kids. The kids are getting older and still you are saying the same thing. Take a look at things you are postponing. Is it worth it? You didn't come to this planet to only work. Play daily with your children while you have a chance. No matter who you are or your age, life teaches us lessons. Every step of the way, we learn or we don't. Nobody gets a free ride. The lessons are custom made for us. They are made to make us strong and yet humble. It's like learning to play the guitar of life. The strings can't be high strung or too loose. Each and every moment we are learning how to respond to events around us. The masters taught us to stop, look, and listen. 
Before you speak a word, what are you doing? You can master the words that come out of your mouth. Most people, unfortunately, don't have a clue. They just say what comes to their mind. Many people think that the person writing this is a know-it-all. How further from the truth that is. We are always growing and learning. There will never be a time when we can clap our hands and say, yep, I'm done learning. We are always learning. Even when we die, the journey of learning will never end. This is the grand adventure. For eternity, we are on this journey of knowing and discovering. This is the mystery of life. To go back to the know it all. We are all learning to deflate our egos. It took time to inflate them, and it takes time to deflate them. We are not perfect. We stumble and fall. We are simply trying to give help on the way. When I was young, I paddled out on a huge day. You always had a little fear inside. The ocean is alive. At times you're almost to the line. A huge set appears in the sky. Before you know it, the white water throws you underneath the water. You're thrown around like the clothes in a washing machine. Eventually you come up. Your board is washed to the shore. You go again and try again. You finally may get it out. The wave of the day comes through. You ride it with pure delight. You have overcome your fear for today. In our Western world, the majority of people take drugs. In order for a drug to be classified as a drug, it must have side effects. Have you seen what some are? This could cause cancer or cause you to die. Yet, we sell this drug. Many people take illegal drugs to combat Lyme. They want to escape Lyme. Unfortunately, day by day, their doses need to be increased. Some eventually die of drug use. It's a huge epidemic today. The masters have taught there is a drug within. It has no side effects except love. It is beneficial and will show you your true nature. It is not an escape valve. It will allow you to live your life moment by moment. Take care of your body. It's the only one you get. Your body is a temple of God. God is hidden inside of you. Look at what you eat. The junk food industry is only interested in your money. Stop drinking sodas every day. You may like them, but your body can't cope with it. Over time, illness and disease will come. Many people treat their cars with more respect. They never forget an oil change. It's time for a tuna. We need to do the same. Your body is precious. Know why you are alive.
When you take off a huge wave, it takes perfect timing. If you are off a little on your timing, consequences will take place. Everything we do takes timing. I have created software that has been ahead of its time. I even had awards because of that. Yet the timing was off. Nobody was interested. Today, searching for a house, it is so common on the internet. A person who is truly engaged in discovering his true nature learns the following. Learn to be in the now, beyond time and space. As much as you can, try to be in a quantum state. All the past, present, and future are fused together in the newness of life. This state will bring you perfect time. You will be at the perfect place at the perfect time. This is our true nature. I lived in Hawaii for six years. You would think that every moment you were in paradise. I was a surfer and surfed every day. Yet, at times, I made trouble in paradise. Not every day was paradise. We create our own state of mind. You can be in paradise, yet the mind can create problems for us. There can be obstacles on the way. I have learned that Kansas can't be a paradise. It's a state of mind. There are no waves here, but I have found to enjoy the waves that come my way. I've learned to balance my mind. It makes life much more precious. Merry Christmas. Today, we celebrate the birth of a great master. During his days on earth, he helped humanity to discover the God within. The kingdom of heaven lies within. He showed the way. He was a perfect example of his father. He exemplified love, peace, tolerance, and compassion. He showed the way to discover these gifts inside of us. His body may have left us over 2,000 years ago. His spirit is a part of us. It never left us. Look into your heart to solve this riddle. There have been many great masters walking the earth. They were called the Prince of Peace. They stood up for peace and radiated peace. In fact, they were one with peace. They didn't have anything to hide. Their egos were subdued. These masters didn't judge us or condemn us. They simply said, the kingdom lies within. This is your true home. You are the universe. You have simply forgotten your true nature. Have you ever felt stuck in life? The wheels are churning. I can't seem to get out of this rut. Have you gotten up from sleeping and the whole day is downward from then on? Have you ever felt I'm totally alone? You are never alone. You are always supported. The great masters have talked about the ways to ponder the meaning of life. The kingdom of heaven lies inside. You can solve this riddle. Did you know 
that meditation is like a shower of love. You close your eyes and go inside. <clears throat> there is a shower of love that is keeping you alive. The water is neither hot nor cold, just perfect. The spray of love is custom made for you. There you will find your true nature. <clears throat> All of your worldly concerns go away. You're not escaping, <coughs> escaping life. You are embracing life. This is who you <coughs> truly are. All the great masters have said, go with him. The kingdom of heaven lies with him. Ponder the meaning of these words. You can solve this riddle. Where does someone who is young walk up to a grand piano and start playing? Where did that talent come from? You and I couldn't do it. I've yet to learn how to play the piano. For the piano prodigy, does it exist inside of his DNA? Can we truly discover talents from the past? In quantum energy, there is no past present or future. There is no time and space. Can a person bring the talents of the past and future into the now? Wouldn't that be something? Is there a talent that you have that is <coughs> laying dormant inside? All it takes for you is to go within and discover. You are a man of many mysteries. It's just waiting for you to discover your true essence. Your true nature is kind. You are the sun, moon, and stars. Your true nature is love. You are eternal. You have great patience. After all, it took a long time to help create the earth. You will always be. Your true nature can never die. You are one with God. Why are you telling me this? It simply can't be true. Yet it is. Discover your true nature. You can solve this puzzle. Face your fears. Don't walk away from them. Don't hide from them. Your fears will lead you to God. The light shines into the darkness. Darkness will be dispelled. Yet your fears will come up. Face your fears within. When you do, when you do this, your light Will become brighter. You have conquered a little bit more of your fears. Imagine your fears can be used as a vehicle in this game of life. You're learning each and every moment. Face your monsters within. You will be glad you did. You can understand this puzzle. caterpillar comes into this world and eats the leaves of life and learns to eat so it won't be hungry. That is his mission, to 
carry on as species. He has no idea that in reality he is a butterfly. There is a point in time where the caterpillar starts building a cocoon. He doesn't know why. He follows his own instinct. There is a point where he is dormant for a while. Time passes by. One day an incredible butterfly emerges. The caterpillar finds his true nature. Under these words, you are a butterfly. Centered, especially when the hurricane is all around. The mind has a powerful wind. If you are centered, you will feel the calm. In all areas of life, you will say, Be centered. It doesn't matter what sport you play, but the main, the main advice is to center yourself. Before you take off on a huge wave, you better be centered. Consequences may come your way. The great masters were experts of being centered. They showed us the way. By being centered in your life, you will be balanced. Some call it the zone. It's a permanent place, by the way. We're struggling to be there. Ponder these words, they have meaning. A mission in life? Are we out of the blue just placed here? Is there a meaning to this life? We are like a boat that has no rudder. We wander around where the tides change and take us. We are lost and we think we are found. What a dilemma <coughs> we are in. We think we are so smart, yet we are running in circles. The great masters have pointed the way. They even told you how to install a rudder. Open up your toolkit within. Install the rudder. You can sail to your destination now. You have a means to steer your boat. You are in control. If you want peace on earth, play your part. If you want people to be kind to you, play your part. If you want your family to love you, play your part. If you want people to like you, play your part. If you want to help somebody, play your part. If you want someone to get elected, play your part. If you want to change this world, Play your part. If you want heaven on earth, play your part. If you want people to understand you, play your part. You have a part to play in this world. We need you to play your part. see harmony, it makes our hearts sing. Listening to the great bands from the past, what do we remember? Great harmonies. It soothes the soul. Music from heaven. We love harmony. <coughs> we strive to be in harmony. Somewhere along the way, we lost it. We, we now get glimpses of it. What happened? Why are we so distracted? Why are we off balance? The whole universe is a property of madness. Maybe we should ponder it over. Where does harmony reside? In 
inside of you. The mind is like a tuning fork. Wherever you focus on, it vibrates at that frequency. If you are angry, your mind will be angry. If you are sad, your mind will be sad. If you are happy, your mind will be happy. Notice all these states usually come from external sources. Our state of mind comes from the external. None of these states are permanent. Our emotions blow in the wind. Yet all the great masters have said, the kingdom of heaven lies within. Focus your mind on the divine. There lies the power of love. The more you focus on it, the more you become. Your happiness over time goes within. You have discovered the source of all. It has always been there. If I would offer any advice, I would say the following. Let go. Why are you holding on the past? Let go of your grudges. You're holding on to something that is drowning you. Is it worth it? Let go of your anger. Your body, mind, and soul doesn't like it. You're getting old way before it's time. Let go of your worries. They don't help in any situation. Let go of your intolerance. You can't see clearly in that state. Let go of your prejudices. There's room for all in this world. Let go of the junk you are carrying. That old jalopy is not worth a dime. We have forgotten our true nature. We live our, we love our junk because we don't know who we are. Ponder the meanings behind these words. You are magnificent. You are glorious. You are the universe. You are God. You are love. You are kind. You are patient. You are compassion. You are tolerant. You are the light of this world. Discover your true nature. Ponder over these words. The truth exists inside of you. Did you know that we all have the same face inside of us? The entire world does, yet we don't say the unity at all. Because we think we are different, we act different towards each other. One tribe is fearful of another tribe. Over time, this leads to a war. Yet what would happen if we all saw the same face within? 
You would never harm the other person. You would be tolerant with others. The great masters have taught about oneness. They've showed us the way. The kingdom of heaven lies within. There you will discover the face of God. Normally, out in the world, I would not talk like this. I'm like a chameleon. I like to, <coughs> to blend in. I'm not here to convert the world. The world doesn't need converting. Normally, I like to be myself. I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to prove. I try to be like the sun in the sky. Just shine. People get <coughs> angry if you preach. The message needs no preaching. If you want to hear about it, just ask. You are in control of your own life. You are mature enough to find out. The mind is like a tuning fork. Wherever you focus on, it vibrates at that frequency. If you are angry, your mind will be angry. If you are sad, your mind will be sad. If you are happy, your mind will be happy. Notice all these states usually come from external sources. Our state of mind comes from the external. None of these states are permanent. Our emotions blow in the wind. Yet all the great masters have said, the kingdom of heaven lies within. Focus your mind on the divine. There lies the power of love. The more you focus on it, the more you become. Your happiness over time goes within. You have discovered the source of all. It has always been there. We are the Transformers. We are discovering the light inside and dispelling the darkness inside. We are dropping old negative energies. Who needs them anyway? The planet has been through so much hardship. Be kind. That is a major transformation. Be respectful of all genders. Don't be macho. Your ego is getting inflated. Discover your true nature. Become a balanced human being. You have nothing to prove. The sun just shines in the sky. It doesn't say, hey, look at me. We are the Transformers. Would you like to join us? You can solve this puzzle. Did you know you had a beast inside? Your fears are the making of your inner beast. Man is afraid of going inside. Yet if you paid attention to your inner beauty, over time you will dissolve the beast within. There are some tricks to the trade. First off, don't hide from your fears. Face them in your life. The more you face them, the more you will discover your true beauty. It's a beautiful circle. You are refining yourself in each and every moment. You are creating a beautiful sculpture. God is rooting for us. You have free choice. There's a great castle in the sky. This castle doesn't have any foundation. It is made of pure white light. A blind man sees this castle and sees his room in the mansion. It is prepared for him. 
A deaf man listens to sweet music laying on his bed. The music is played without any instruments. A lame man climbs the ladder of life and reaches the castle. These mysteries are solvable. You can figure out this puzzle by diving within your heart. God's nature is kindness. God does not hurt us. He does not judge us. He does not condone us. God is kind. Think that over. God is kind. The next time you put your five bucks into the offering basket, think God is kind. If you can master anything in your life, master kindness. Your friends and family will love you for it. The world will rejoice in this. Today is a golden opportunity. You are alive. What could be more precious than that? The universe is cheering you along. This journey of life is marvelous. It has its ups and downs, yet you are never alone. God has placed <coughs> signposts all around you in this journey. Pay attention to them. The more you journey within, the more you see these signposts. These signposts can save you from a lot of grief. You can never go the wrong way in life. But it may take you to things you may not like. Today is a golden opportunity. Sit still and listen. How many times are you going to say that? Sit still and listen. Each try I try, my mind is rampant. No one said it was easy. Sit still and listen. Hey, I finally got a glimpse of peace. Sit still and listen. There is peace inside. Sit still and listen. The whole world needs to experience this. Sit still and listen. For the majority of mankind, silence can be deafening. All they can hear is the chattering of the mind. Silence can make some people go crazy. Yet silence is divine. How can it be so? For one person, it's medicine to the soul. To another, it drives them crazy. What is the difference? When a person begins to learn about silence, he is trained. Why weren't we taught where to look for God? Good question. Why were we taught that in order to see God, you must die? You can see God while you are alive. Only the saints can communicate to God. Why are we taught that you need an intermediary between you and God? You aren't good enough. Only the priests can pass on the message. Why are we taught that we are all born sinners? If we come directly from God, how can we be born a sinner? Why were we taught there is a hell? 
only hell exists in man's minds. Why are we taught that God judges us? God does not judge. We judge one another. All of the great masters have said the same thing. The kingdom of heaven <coughs> lies within. It seems like the same message has been changed along the way. When I was young, I read many old Eastern scriptures. Many of these scriptures talk about an impersonal God. God created the universe, but man only connected him in an impersonal way. You could hear, you could have the experiences of God, yet it was impersonal. You didn't have a friendship with God. You didn't feel that God was family. Did you know that you could have an impersonal, personal, or no relationship to God. It's your choice. I prefer the personal. The personal provides the following. You are never alone. You feel you are family in the universe. You are supported and coached along the way. You get the best advice in all the universe. The universe is rooting for you and you know it. You can see the unity of man. Ponder these words. What kind of relationship do you have? I am guided. Help is always there. <clears throat> we are supported by the universe. The, the more you sense this and trust in this, the more you open up. The world does not teach that you have internal coaches. They will not play the game for us. Yet, there are experts in coaching. We truly have guides. Imagine a part of you is multidimensional. A part of you exists back home. Your guides are a part of you. They are there, and you are there. Only your free choice is stopping you to discover this truth. By using free choice and saying, I want to be in contact with my guides. With your intent, you, op you open up the doors. This is probably a brand new way of thinking. You are never alone. It just seems that way. Ponder these words. The universe is your family. You are eternal. You were never created, and you will never die. Friends and family are everywhere. You are part of the grand awareness of life. <coughs> we think only sentient beings have family. How about the sun in the sky? Does it have family and friends? My attitude has changed lately. I think we are all family and friends. The universe is connected to one another. Unfortunately, we don't see or experience that connection. We are wired up to, <coughs> to discover our true nature. Ponder the meaning of these worlds, of these words. You are never alone. Did you know your body is your friend? Treat your body with respect. Did you know your mind is your friend? Treat your mind with respect. Did you know that your emotions is your friend? Treat your emotions with respect. Did you know your soul is your friend? Treat your soul with respect. Your true friends are always with you. Treat them with respect. For thousands of years, Western's man ego has been totally out of control. The ego should be balanced between masculine and feminine. Unfortunately, the masculine has been dominated this planet. Wars have been fought 
all over the world. Man likes to conquer. If each male would balance themselves with love, patience, tolerance, and compassion, this world would be in a better place. There are some of the qualities of the female ego. We should have the mixture of the two. In reality, God is not male or female. Yet, on this earth, we have that duality. Man has been taught not to express feminine qualities. The world we live in is the examples of man not being in balance. We need to solve this puzzle. Did you know God doesn't get involved in politics? It's way too messy. Both sides need to be tolerant of one another. During the presidential campaign, it was way out of control. A huge emotional battle occurred. Even after the election occurred, the battle was still going on. It seems like man can't control his emotions. The ugliness of man came out. How could a dear friend of mine call the president a prick? We have created a great monster. Only by using tolerance can we destroy the monster. A person who is tolerant sees both sides of the story. He will <coughs> never <coughs> degrade you. He will never lie to you. Even if he completely disagrees with your principles, he will not demean you. Be kind to your fellow man. Be tolerant of one another. This world needs it.